Welcome back to our channel, Nature Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into one of the most captivating mysteries of all time, the extinction of dinosaurs. Join me as we explore the incredible story of how these majestic creatures vanished from the face of the earth. To begin our journey, we travel back in time to around 66 million years ago, a pivotal moment in Earth's history. The extinction of dinosaurs is believed to have been caused by a combination of several factors, with the most widely accepted theory being the impact hypothesis. Here's a breakdown of the leading theory and other contributing factors. Asteroid impact hypothesis, the Chicxulub impact event, which occurred around 66 million years ago, is estimated to have released energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The impact would have triggered massive wildfires as debris from the impact site fell back to the Earth's surface, igniting forests and vegetation. The ejected material, including vaporized rock and dust, would have been propelled into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing an impact winter effect. This would have led to a dramatic drop in global temperatures, disrupting ecosystems and food chains. Volcanic activity, Deccan Traps, the Deccan Traps volcanic activity in India occurred over a period of several hundred thousand years. The repeated eruptions released large amounts of volcanic gases, including sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide can lead to the formation of sulfate aerosols, which reflect sunlight and contribute to cooling. However, the release of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, could have led to long-term global warming once the aerosols settled. Climate effects, the combination of the impact-induced, impact winter, and the long-term volcanic emissions likely led to extreme temperature fluctuations. The cooling effect from the aerosols and dust would have caused a rapid drop in temperatures, while the greenhouse gases could have caused a longer-term warming trend. These fluctuations in temperature could have destabilized ecosystems, making it difficult for species to adapt. Marine extinction, the impact would have generated massive tsunamis that inundated coastlines, affecting marine ecosystems and causing loss of habitat. Additionally, the impact generated heat could have vaporized large amounts of water, sending water vapor into the atmosphere. Upon cooling and condensation, this would have resulted in acid rain, potentially causing damage to aquatic life and their habitats. Ecosystem disruption, the abrupt loss of sunlight due to the debris cloud would have disrupted photosynthesis and affected primary producers in terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. This disruption would have cascaded up the food chain, affecting herbivores and then carnivores. The collapse of food chains and ecosystems would have made survival difficult for many species, including dinosaurs. Extinction patterns, the KPG, Cretaceous Paleogene, boundary, marking the end of the Cretaceous period and the beginning of the Paleogene period, is characterized by a sharp decline in the fossil record of non-avian dinosaurs. In contrast, many smaller animals, including mammals, birds, and certain reptiles, managed to survive the extinction event. In summary, the extinction of dinosaurs was likely the result of a complex interplay between multiple factors, with the Chicxulub impact event and the Deccan Traps volcanic activity being primary drivers. These catastrophic events caused extreme and rapid changes to the environment, disrupting ecosystems, food chains, and climate patterns. While some species were able to adapt and survive, the non-avian dinosaurs ultimately could not recover from the profound changes that occurred during this tumultuous period. Thanks for joining us on this incredible adventure. Until next time, stay curious. Subscribe our channel for more such informative videos.